Dr. Mary Gillis joining us now with a look at some of our health headlines. Hello, Mary. Wearing my power color today. Oh, oh yes. yes. Oh, thank you. Well, you look lovely as always. Why, well, thank you. Why, well, thank you. What you got for us today? <laughs> uh, okay, some good stuff. Uh, well, we'll start off with this, but yeah, at the end, we'll have some good stuff. A new report shows progress against cancer with more people in the U.S. surviving uh, than ever before. The American Association for Cancer Research found in the past three years, the number of cancer survivors living in the U.S. increased by more than a million. As of January, there were 18 million cancer survivors in the U.S. The association said that number is expected to increase to 26 million by 2040. The report notes there were only 3 million cancer survivors back in 1971. For all cancers combined, the five-year overall survival rate has, get this, increased from 49 percent in the mid-1970s to nearly 70 percent from 2011 to 2017. Wow. And the overall cancer death rate adjusted for age continues to drop. The report credits the progress against cancer to fewer people smoking and improvements in catching uh, or treating uh, cancer early. That's big because whenever we hear cancer, we get so afraid because there's so many unknowns. But it's nice to finally have some good news, good trending news when it comes to, to cancer. Also, the early detection is key. There is a blood test, Alexis, that can early that can detect fl uh, 50 types of cancer wow. in a, one blood test. Uh, it's here in Indiana, so uh, I'll have to post that on my Facebook later today. Mm -hmm. uh, I know we did a story on that later uh, a while back. That's good. Um, okay, but yeah, all that stuff is good. Good news, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, it's the most common form of arthritis affecting more than 32 million adults in the U.S., according to the CDC. Relief from osteoarthritis in a person's knees often lead to major surgery and a months-long recovery, but a new device is easing the pain for some patients and helping them put off or even avoid a total knee replacement. The clinical trial involves a device implanted into the patient's knee. Dr. David Flanagan at, at Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center says 90% of the patients who have gotten the device at his hospital have seen improved function and less pain. The device is not FDA approved, but the company that makes it says it's working to gain the necessary regulatory approvals. Knee pain? is the worst pain. <laughs> I hate knee pain. I, I mean, I can't speak for myself, but I've heard it is. It's bad, girl. Do you suffer from knee pain? Just be out here waddling. You know, I just, uh, oh man, I was <laughs> speaking with someone today and uh, they saying they need a knee replacement, so perhaps I'll, I'll we'll, they'll, be, they'll watch this, I'll talk this over to them. This would be great. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. All right, last one. A new study shows some of the food and flavors a kid likes or dislikes might start in the womb. Mm. The study published in the journal Psychological Science laid out an experiment where scientists gave moms who were at least eight months pregnant either a carrot flavored pill, a kale flavored pill, or a plain pill. About 20 minutes after each mom got her particular pill, scientists did a 4D ultrasound. They noticed the babies who tasted the carrot flavor made more of a laughter face. The ones who tasted the kale made more of a cry face. Oh, All those no. poor kiddos. Scientists say adjusting when moms eat when they're pregnant might help promote healthy eating habits for their kids. The next step is to see how babies in the study react to each food once they're able to eat it themselves. Researchers also want to expand the study to women of different races and cultures. Huh. I wonder if that kale pill was like packed with kale. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not a picky eater, but I'm related to many picky eaters. So <laughs> I get it. I understand. My mom used to eat tomatoes with salt on them, mm -hmm. and now I eat tomatoes like the, the apples. I remember you said, you yeah. love tomatoes. That's your favorite fruit. Well. No? I'm still mad that it's a fruit. In my mind, it's a I know. Me too. Come on. Yeah. But it's okay. I'm with you. Hey, thank you so oh, much. Alexis, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Huh. Already picky and choosy without even paying the bills.